Good morning, everyone. It's Vicki with Crochet with Vicki Joe. How's everyone doing today? Well, I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, nice chilly day. It's on Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And right now it's at a 26 degrees. A little bit chilly. Not too bad in the house, but it's cold outside. And I think we're only going to get up to 45 today and then it's dropping again. So we're getting into that cold weather. Uh, I don't know how it is for you. Um, you want to share in comments with me? Let me know what your weather's like today. That'd be great. But anyhow, today I have a stitch tutorial I want to show you. Now I got this tutorial off of uh, YouTube. I thought it was really pretty. It's called the block stitch. And I do notice that um, everyone does this in different ways. You know, I mean, it's basically the same pattern. They just do it a little bit differently. So I really like this one. So this is the one I'm going to show you. As you can see, I, I did this uh, example here in different colors. I think it's very pretty. We could probably make a nice baby blanket with this. I would recommend using a softer yarn and I would probably go down to a three weight. This is a four weight, but it's a pretty thick four weight. I'm actually using the loops and threads. See, it's pretty thick. And this one here is a periwinkle and I'm going to use this one in my tutorial also this color. I'm going to use this as the main color and then I'm going to use white loops and thread. I'm going to use the white to for the second row here, and the fourth row and so forth. Okay. Now if you notice on the top here, I did two rows or three rows, I believe. Yeah, three rows of just solid because I wanted you to see the difference. If you didn't want to change color, this is what it's going to look like if you just do it in solid. Okay, so you want to get started? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our slip knot. <clears throat> now this is a multiple of 3 plus 2, so I'm going to chain 23. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three. Okay, now we are going to put a double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. Okay, so you have, you're not going to count this one here. So you have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and I'm going to turn mine over and I'm going to work in the back loop. See this back bump right here? I'm going to work into this one. So I'm going to put a double crochet. And you don't have to work in the back bump. You can do just normal right here where you have your chains here you know how you have the V shape you can just work through there so you're going to make a double crochet all the way to the end of the row till you get to the last stitch and then we're going to change colors now in this pattern you don't have to change colors that's why I showed you on the example I did three rows of just plain um, but I think with this pattern it does look much nicer and it gives you more um, definition of your stitches when you change colors but like I said that's you know you don't have to do that that's up to you however you want to it's your pattern it's your project however you want to do that entirely up to you I have really sore fingers this morning. That's why it's hard trying to get into these little 
spaces right here. I get where I, my um, skin like splits, see like that right here, it just like splits. I get that around all of my fingers and it becomes very painful because some of go really deep. So it's hard to maneuver some of these stitches, but I'm getting there. You might want to work your first roll of chains, your foundation chain, foundation roll. You might want to work it a little bit looser so you don't have the problem that I'm having here. I think I went a little bit too tight, so it's a little bit harder getting in that back loop there. Trying to stay in frame. I. You know me, I tend to go out of it a lot when I'm doing tutorials. I'm trying to look at the stitch and at the camera. I'm not that coordinated <laughs> to do that, but I'm trying. <laughs> Bear with me, I only have a couple more to go. Okay, so this is the last stitch here. So we're gonna go ahead and start the double crochet and we're going to go through the first two loops and we're going to hold that there and now we're going to change colors. So we want to keep two loops on our hook and I'm going to go with a white. Just bring it through. Now we're not going to chain, we're just going to turn it and you can tie it if you want. But we're just going to turn and we're going to go right into this stitch right here, same stitch. We're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to go down below in this loop right here and we're going to put another single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to chain two and we're going to skip three double crochets. So that's one, two, three. See, one, two, three, and this loop right here between that last double crochet, we're going to put a single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to chain two. We're going to skip three double crochets, one, two, three, and we're going to go into that space right there, and we're going to put another single crochet. Chain two, skip three, one, two, three, go into this space right here and put a single <coughs> crochet. And you're just going to repeat this all the way to the end of your row. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three, go into that space, put a single crochet chain two and you have three double crochets left one two three in this space right here on the end we're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to put a single crochet in our chain space okay let's see that's going to match what we did here on this end our single and then our single in the loop. Same thing here, single and the single in the loop. Okay, but I forgot because we're going to change back 
into our original color, our first color, so I went too far there. You don't want to complete the single crochet. Okay, I'll do that for you again. So in this chain space, we're going to put a single crochet, but we're not going to complete it. We're going to pull our loop through and we're going to keep those two loops. And then we're going to do our purple again. I forgot to cut that. Okay. So we're going to bring that through. And now we're going to chain three because we're going to work double crochets. So it's one, two, three. We're going to turn our work. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Unfortunately, you cannot um, carry your yarn. You have to cut it on each end. Okay, so here we are going to go right into this loop right here. So you have your single crochet here, and then you have this loop right here, which is your chain two space. You're going to put three double crochets inside this loop, inside the chain two space. Okay. And now you're going to skip over to the next chain two space, and you're going to put three more double crochets. You're going to skip to the next chain two space and put three more double crochets. Let me pull my yarn out here. Getting a little tight. Okay. And you're just going to repeat this all the way to the end of your row putting three double crochets in each chain two space okay until you get to your last chain two space okay you're going to complete this Go ahead and put your three double crochets in this last chain two space. Okay. And then you look here, turn turn your yarn a little bit here, and you'll see this chain here and this chain here. You have two left. So you want to put a double crochet in this last one, but you don't want to complete it because we're going to change the color again. So you pull through, yarn over, go through the first two loops, but you want to leave these two loops on your hook. Okay, and I'm going to cut this yarn, and then I'm going to bring my white back on. Okay, and I'm going to pull through, and we're going to be working single crochets again, so we're not going to chain. We're just going to turn our work. Now the reason this is, which it's new to me also, I didn't know this, but... If you don't chain, then um, you get a straighter edge. Interesting, huh? <laughs> so now you're going to chain two. And you're going to go right in here. You're going to skip three. One, two, three. You're going to go into this space. And you're going to chain one, or single crochet. And you're going to chain two. So you see it's just repeating itself. Go into the next loop, single crochet, chain two. Now, I know also that if you um, if you go ahead and do your chain, but when you do your last, I think it's when you do your last stitch, you go into, well, I'm not going to say that because I forgot how she said it. It was Crystal that from Bag of Day that had get a, um, given a solution in order to get a straight line. You would have to go and view her video to see how she did that. But you know how hard it is at times when you make a, 
uh, project and when you're done the sides are like all jagged they don't match up right so this is one solution to correct that and like I said crystal at bag of day has another solution so chain two go into the next space single crochet chain two Go into that next space, you skip three, one, two, three double crochets. You have one space here. Do a single crochet. And then you're going to go into the top of the chain. And you're going to do another single crochet, but you're not going to finish it. I'm going to cut my yarn. And I'm going to add this color again. Okay. And just tighten up that loop there a little bit. Okay. Turn our work. We're not going to chain, okay? And then we're going to go right into that very first single crochet there. Um, I'm sorry. I was thinking I was on my single crochet roll. <laughs> okay, from here we're going to chain three because now we're working on our double crochet roll. Then you're going to turn your work <clears throat> and you're going to jump right over to this space here, your chain two space. Okay. Now you can make this all kinds of different colors if you want. You don't have to stick with just the two. You can fix this up however you want it. You can stay with one color, two color, three, four, however many colors you want. That's how flexible this pattern is. So you're going to put three double crochets at each one of these chain two spaces. You're not going to chain in between. You're just going to jump right over to the next chain two space. And you're going to put three double crochets. Oh, I got it. There you go. Um, so it's a very easy pattern. It's just this two roll repeat. Very simple. Single crochets and double crochets is all you use in this pattern. Now for my beginners class that I I teach um, on basic crocheting, you've already learned the single crochet and the double crochet, so this would be another pattern that you could practice on making something. So we're at the end. Remember we have these two stitches left right here, this one and this one. We want to do one double crochet in that last stitch. Okay. Now if you're going to change your color back to white, then you would stop right here and you would change your color. But I'm gonna not I'm not gonna change it right now. I am going to turn my work. I'm going to chain one because we're going to do single crochets now and I'm not going to change color so that's why I single crocheted and I'm going to go into this first double crochet right here I'm going to put a single crochet and I'm going to go into this loop and I'm going to put another single crochet I'm doing this because I want you to see now if you just do one solid color I showed you in the white, and I'm, or in the beige, and I'm going to show you in the purple. See if you can um, see a difference here. Not even a difference, but if you can see how it, the uh, stitches, if they stand out, or do they stand out better if you're changing colors. Okay. So you're going to chain two, jump over to your next space, single crochet, single crochet in that last stitch, and then you're going to do 
your double crochet so you chain three you turn your work and we're going to jump right over to this first space we're going to put three double crochets Pull some more yarn out. And we're going to jump over to this next space. We're going to put three doubles. And we're just going to do this all the way across. Three double crochets. Go to your next space. Put three double crochets. Okay. I'm just going to finish it right there. Can you see a difference versus this? I think because of the different colors, your stitches stand out so much better than the solid. But like I said, it's up to you. If that's how you want to do it. Either way, it's going to look pretty. But anyhow, that's all I have today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Check out. I'd encourage you to check out all my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like the content, I invite you to do so today. Um, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell so whenever I put up a video, you'll be notified. So just remember today that Jesus loves you and so do I. You have a wonderful day. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye for now.